Okay, so this is a video over uh, the pre-writing aspect of the uh, writing process. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a excerpt called Turtles All the Way Down, which we've been analyzing and annotating over the past week. And we're actually going to answer a prompt. For, uh, so this is the prompt. Write an essay analyzing how the author uses plot and characterization to convey the theme of the story. Now, this is incredibly important to understand that, okay, this is a mouthful as far as this prompt goes. It's asking you to do a lot. It seems overwhelming. It looks like it's a big task. The best thing to do when it comes to something like this is you have to know the prompt backwards and forwards. If you don't answer to the prompt, then you're going to waste your time. You're going to get a zero on an essay because you didn't answer the prompt. So let's not fall into that trap. And the best way to do that is this. So we have the prompt, and then what we do is we actually take that prompt and we highlight the key words that we need to make sure that we know. So as far as highlighting, I highlighted analyzing, author, plot, characterization, theme, and story. Now, what we do from this point on is that we look up every single one of those words and we understand exactly what this prompt is about. So the first word is analyzing. So what I have here is I have analyzing is what we call examining and interpreting. So if you examine and interpret something, then you're looking at something that was said. You're providing every single thing that you can possibly know about it. You're telling us what was going on, what was the context, what was the time frame, who is talking, what did they mean by this, what was their attitude. You're looking at everything. The next thing is author. The author is John Green. So you would write John Green. The plot. Now, I got the plot from the excerpt in that box that's at the very top of the excerpt. So I practically wrote it down word for word. It gives us the plot of the entire novel, but it also gives us the plot of the excerpt that we wrote. So the entire novel plot is she tries to be a good friend and help her best friend, Daisy. And then the plot, which is the storyline, of the excerpt is Aza's struggle with her ever-tightening spiral of her own thoughts. And if you remember, she's in a cafeteria sitting with her friends, but all she can do is focus on everybody else. She can focus on her stomach and her bacteria breakdown and the microbiomes inside of her and her digestion. And, you know, she's not really paying much attention. Characterization. Characterization of Aza is that she's technical. She overthinks, which is what we call her thought spirals. She's anxious. Um, and those are the uh, those are the traits that she seems to have throughout this excerpt. A lot of students don't know the word convey. So I'm going to add this one. And I'm going to highlight that because it's very important to understand. You know, it's like you're going to hear the word convey probably 25 times before the end of the semester. And um, it's, it's amazing how many students come up to me, you know, in April or March and say, what does convey mean? And I'm like, dude, we've been dealing with that word all year and you're just now asking. So I'm going to go ahead and, and tell you, if you convey something, you express something. Um, I can't convey enough how important it is to make sure that you're a good writer to make your whole academic life be easier. So that's what convey means. A theme is um, the moral or the lesson of a story the overall concept that the story seems to revolve around. It's not the main idea. It's not what, this, what the story is about. But um, this is a story about Aza, who is sitting with her friend Daisy, and Daisy wants to investigate a fugitive billionaire whose father is one of their, uh, he's the father of one of their classmates. Um, and, you know, she says, hey, you know, will you help me investigate? And she's like, absolutely. But the classmate that is uh, the son of this fugitive billionaire. Uh, he's somebody that Aza has a really fond memory of. So, you know, you're kind of wondering, okay, so what's going to happen here? So, of course, the easiest theme to come across in this excerpt is friendship. And then another theme would be how she struggles with her own thoughts and she overcomes anxiety. Um, there's probably going to be a theme of perseverance because she's battling and fighting through her anxiety issues. Uh, so she can be a good friend. And then, of course, you know, there's loyalty. She has known Daisy since she was six. And Daisy's asking her to do something that might cause an internal conflict with herself, but she's going to be loyal to her friend and she's going to help her. 
And then the very last thing is story. So for story, you literally write down turtles all the way down and you write it down the way that it's going to be in the essay. Now, what I've done here is I've done everything typed. Uh, and if you type the title of a novel, you put it in italics, but we're going to pretend that this is all handwritten. So what we do is we underline the titles of novels, and then, of course, we, uh, we capitalize all the words. So we have the story turtles all the way down. The author, John Green, we know what we're doing. We're examining and interpreting this plot along with these characterizations in order to express the theme of friendship, struggle, overcoming anxiety, perseverance, or loyalty. You have to pick one. So in the thesis statement, this is what I wrote. In the novel, Turtles All the Way Down, and notice how I've pulled it straight from here, and I've done it exactly the way it's supposed to be done. Author John Green, there's the author, uses Aza's desire to be a good friend to Daisy while struggling with her ever-tightening spiral of her own thoughts. So I have got plot and characterization to convey the theme of loyalty. In your thesis statement, your thesis statement should give a brief preview or summary of what you are going to talk about. I should be able to read your thesis statement and know exactly what's in store, paragraph by paragraph. So here's a bad example, and a lot of students will do this. They'll just take the prompt and they'll reword it. So they'll say, in the novel, Turtles All the Way Down, the author uses plot and characterization to convey the theme of the story. Do not do this, okay? This is not a good thesis statement. So now that we have a good thesis statement, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna write the essay. So this is the introductory paragraph. Um, I am going to start with a hook, which is a way to grab the reader's attention, and I'm gonna use a quote from the story. So I went through the story and I found a hook, a quote, that I think is going to help me write this essay. So I put in quotation marks, you think you're the painter, but you're the canvas. And now I have to explain that quote and I have to link it to the thesis statement. Aza Holmes's words show the thoughts of a public school teenager who wants to be a good person and friend, but doesn't have control of her life. And then I just literally rewrite statement. In the novel, Turtles All the Way Down, author John Green uses Aza's desire to be a good friend to Daisy while fighting with her ever-tightening spiral of her thoughts to convey the theme of loyalty. And I chose loyalty because I, I figured that that's going to be the easiest thing for me to write about because loyalty is very important to me. I respect loyalty a lot. So it's going to be easy for me to elaborate and to comment. on stuff like that. So now we're going to go to the next paragraph, which is um, body paragraph one. And if you look over here, it actually tells you what way you're going to write your essay. We're analyzing plot and characterization. So plot is gonna be body paragraph one, characterization is gonna be body paragraph two. So now I'm gonna go back to this, and guys, it's really important that you invent. So the plot of the story is about Aza's need to be a good friend while at the same time showing the reader how difficult she can be with her anxiety issues and constant overthinking. So now I've given a topic sentence. This is what I'm gonna write about. Aza's desire to be a good friend while she's battling her anxiety. So the hallmark of any good essay is a good transition. So I'm going to go with the easiest one right now. For example, I can change this later when I do my revising and editing, but for right now, for example, while at lunch, Daisy is talking about a classmate when she says, are you listening? Aza says, I am listening, I thought, to the cacophony of my digestive tract. Aza is too distracted by her own act of eating and her strong need to focus on her digestion that she cannot be totally in the conversation. This is an example of not being a good friend since she is not giving Daisy her full attention. So now what I have done is I have written my first body paragraph where I have given a topic sentence telling you what I'm going to talk about. I found something in the text that I can quote. and Now I'm explaining it. What a lot of students are going to do is they're going to take this part of the essay and they're going to stop right here and they're going to say you know what i'll let the reader figure it out no you can't do that you have to think that i am a total moron and that i can't know anything other than what you tell me so it is your job as the essay writer to explain why you chose this text for your topic um 
Now, one of the things that I do want to point out is this. This is in no way an example of a good essay. This is an example of a rough draft. And when I say rough, I mean rough in the worst way possible. This is so rudimentary that it needs to be completely revamped, which is what we do during the revising and editing stage. So for instance, you think you're the painter, but you're the canvas and it holds his word, show thoughts. There's a lot of rip words in here. I have good, I have bad, I, you know. So of course, those are things that I'm gonna change in the, uh, when I do my revising and editing. I have the plot of the stories about Aces need to be a good friend. There's good again, there's a rip word, I can't use that. While at the same time, showing the reader, maybe I'm gonna change that to exhibiting or illustrating. Um, how difficult you can be with her anxiety issues, for example. Now, you know what? Uh, I will probably change, for example, I'll find an alternative transition to use because, you know what? All of my classmates are probably going to say, for example, I'm going to make mine different. I think the teacher will appreciate the fact that after they've read 75, for examples, they're going to see something different. So I'm going to be using my toolbox to look for an alternative for, for example, or I may just Google something. Um, Aza is too distracted by her own act of eating and her strong need to focus. Maybe I'll look up strong need and look up her synonym. Uh, food digestion, that she cannot be totally in the conversation. Totally, that's not a word that I want in an essay. Um, this sentence right here alone is horrible. This is an example of not being a good friend. Okay, now we don't ever want to say stuff like this. Okay, we want to find another word to say this. So that's what I'll do in the revising editing. But that is later. Um, when you return to me next week, more than likely it'll be either Wednesday or Thursday, um, we will write body paragraph two. And actually, take that back, you will write body paragraph two. And in the process of doing that, you will probably, um, you're going to be doing it all by yourself. You're going to be, you're going to have your cell phone and you can use that to look up synonyms and stuff like that. But it is going to be your job to take care of that. Um, and I will, of course, be over your shoulder, helping you out and answering any questions, but the majority of the work is going to come from you. So um, you're using my example as a guide. So anyway, that's what we're going to be looking at. That is what we did on Friday. Okay, Friday was an, uh, an even day, if you weren't there, and we went to all even classes, and that's what we did. So um, I will see you next week, and uh, we will work on this. Until then.